नारायण नमस्कृत नरुण चैव नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीरे संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरी पत्र प्रकाशने सदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण ध्यय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भीताहम पुनदीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारिंद यत्दपल्लवनखचंदमि छटाय विस्फुजीत किमी गोपवधुस्वदर्शि पूर्णागर सागर सारमूर्ति साराधि कामय कदा काम करोषि श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अजानुलंबित भुज कनुका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायुताक्ष विशाम बरो द्विज बरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा अवतार हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमामि गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदि दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दी नीतम भावान्ूपेन सदा नरानम गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभुषि तवाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मदापुहारम वाराणसी पुरापति भजवी सनाथ वागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीजस् चक्षसी जैसे संसिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जश प्रसाद भगवत प्रसाद जश प्रसाद नगतुगुत धैंस्त वंशत यशस्ति संध्या वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारिंद जश प्रसाद भगवत प्रसाद जश प्रसाद नगदूत योपी धैंस्त वंशत यशस्ति संध्या वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारिंद वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारिंद वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारिंद गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट सपोज यू आर एंजॉइंग सपोज यू आर एंजॉइंग 
Guru Kipa. Then be sure you are enjoying Bhagavad Kipa. Gauriya Goshtipati, Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Prabhupada, Paramahansa Jagat Guru said that, suppose you are enjoying full Guru Kipa, be sure then you are enjoying Bhagavad Kipa, Krishna Kipa. Because Bhagavad Kipa can never come to you directly. Bhagavad Kipa can never come to you directly. It is the rule set by Bhagavan. We have nothing to do. Whenever Kipa coming from Aprakita Jagat, Kipa coming through Guru Vishnu, not directly. Prabhupada used to say that if we can believe Guru Vishnu 100%, we bonded soul cannot believe Guru Vishnu 100%. Whatever we are doing under the guidance of pure Guru Vishnu, it's all okay. There cannot be any mistake that we cannot believe. Different kind of doubts, different kind of suspicion coming to contaminate our heart, we cannot believe. That Guru Vaishnava means Bhagavan Himself present, non different. Gurudev and Bhagavan, non different. There is no different. Who is Gurudev? Who is Bhagavan? That's why Prabhupada very often used to say, Mannath Jagannath, Madguru Jagadguru, Madguru Jagadguru, Mannath Jagannath. <coughs> Prabhupada used to say, Prabhupada very often used to say, who can give me hundred percent Mangal, cent percent Mangal, who can give me cent percent Mangal, I can submit unto a lotus feet of such Gurudev. Who can give me partial Mangal, I cannot submit. I cannot submit unto the lotus feet of such Guru who can give partial Mangal. I like to submit unto the lotus feet of such Guru who can give me hundred to cent percent Mangal. There is some Siddhanta Vichar. There is so many Siddhanta Vichar in it. I am approaching my Guru Path Padma. I am speaking about my own personal feeling, what I After reaching Guru Pad Padma, I mean after reaching unto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma, if I am feeling dissatisfaction, then surely it is bogus, it is not good. If after reaching Sadguru, still I am feeling dissatisfaction, then it is absurd. Maybe your Guru Padma is not uh, Sadguru, or maybe you are not pure. I mean, your submission is not good. There can be some problem. It cannot so happen. It can never so happen. After reaching Guru Padma, I can feel complete satisfaction. Because Guru, Guru Padma can give me complete, not partial. Guru Padma can give me complete thing. So after meeting Guru Padma, after getting Diksha from Guru Padma, how it is possible that you are feeling dissatisfaction? It's not possible. It cannot so happen. You search all Gauriya Bhajan, all, anything, all Goswami is all, you can find there is no dissatisfaction. After taking shelter unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma, with nis niskapat bab, there cannot be dissatisfaction inside heart. Because all my infinity period, all my sinful activities, all the result of the sinful activities, everything, Guru Padma can take away from you. Like blotting paper, you know, blotting paper. Blotting paper, you don't know? <coughs> blotting paper, we in our childhood, used to write in fountain pen. <coughs> Some extra income, immediate multiple. 
<coughs> blotting paper. Guru Padma can take away all dissatisfaction, all discontent, anything, all problem, all the result of your sinful activities, Gurudev can take away. If not, <coughs> then your procedure of Diksha is false Diksha, maybe not complete. Because it is the definition, it is the definition of Diksha. It is the definition of Diksha. It is the definition of Diksha that all <coughs> the result of our infinity active and uh, bad activities, sinful activities. Dibbo gyan yato dadyat kuryat papasya sankshayam nakshayam chayam mean uh, it can disappear. But sankshayam mean from the very root, it can disappear. Shankshayaman is Shammak. In Sanskrit we say, perfectly from the root cause, all clear. Now it's up to you. How to serve Guru Padma. After serving Guru Padma, one perfect disciple, I mean, who is having submission, he cannot feel dissatisfaction. We personally feel, after serving Guru Padma, I don't know what kind of enjoyment coming. After serving Guru Padma, I don't know where from this kind of energy coming. As if Bhagavan, I have my Chaitanya Bhagavad is in front of me. Whenever I enter into Guru Padma room, I feel Sakshat Bhagavan. Some feeling coming. Some feeling used to come. Enormous energy. Tremendous energy, unending energy. We like to give life for Guru Padma. I don't know what kind of satisfaction comes. The more we do seva, Guru Maharaj become happy, we can become more happy. Guru Maharaj become more happy, we can become more and more competition. I am foolish, I know nothing. But still, some small seva, Guru Padma used to look. What is his mood? Guru Padma no, not watching, I am making mistake. From watching, what is my mood? Enthusiastic mood. I'm coming from Calcutta with publication job. Last moment, Guru Padma, Abhir Bhaktiti. I'm coming and entering the room like wind. And Guru Padma was also dancing you know, in the bed. Oh my boy, oh my boy. Exchange of view. Unknown, unknown feeling. Any third person cannot realize. Guru Padma was only watching my enthusiastic energy. He is not going to point out, uh, not going to speak anything, only this is an excellent feeling, I used to say. Pope many times used to say, after approaching Guru Pad Padma, Sadguru, you can feel yourself, you can enjoy. If Sadguru, then you cannot know what kind of enjoyment coming. That means you are getting Guru Kipa. Pope many times used to say, when we are approaching Guru Pad Padma, after approaching Guru Pad Padma, we cannot feel any shortage. Shortage of money, shortage of position, shortage of honor, position, nothing. We cannot feel. Prabhupada many times used to say, dissatisfaction can disappear. Dissatisfaction can disappear automatically. Guru, because Guru Pad Padma is complete. Because Bhagavan Sri Krishna is predominating absolute. Bhagavan Sri Krishna is predominating absolute. Our Radharani is predominated absolute. I mean Guru Pad Padma is predominated absolute. Prabhupada many times used to say, so long you cannot feel that Bhagavan and Guru Padma same. So long you cannot feel. Till then you cannot do Harinam. Harinam you cannot do. You can do Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, but it is not. You cannot do. It is impossible. Prabhupada many times used to say, when you can feel the Gurudev is non-different from Bhagavan. You can feel. Then and only then, 
you can get the scope to utter pure Harinam. I need some money, I need some position, I need some blanket. Ah, too much winter season here, very beating cold. I need some blanket, I can run here and there. Papa speaking this kind of, this kind of, you know, unnecessarily anxiety coming in you. Unnecessarily this kind of anxiety coming in you. Why you are feeling anxiety? I need some position, I need some money, I need some patishtha. I need some blanket, winter season coming, where from I can, I don't know. This kind of thing cannot come. Because after submitting unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma 100% and serving Guru Padma 100%, you become Guru. You don't understand. This Siddhanta Vichar you don't know. I can show you practically. Who is serving Guru Padma 100%? And enjoying the full keep of Guru Padma, he becomes itself Guru. He is saying, I am disciple, but still he is Guru. He automatically becomes. Nobody need to make some election and uh, selection. Automatically you can do. Only the thing you will have to be, by your Harikatha, by your Seva, by any kind of activity. Gurudev is satisfied or not. That day I was speaking, no? The only thing we'll have to watch. We are less interested about any other things. Only we'll have to think, what I am doing is giving complete satisfaction to Bhagavan or Gurudev, or not. If not, whatever I do, all useless. Oh, like an exhibition, I am very pure, I am you know, maintaining so much rules and all useless. Useless, you cannot. Useless. And if Guru Padma is satisfied by my activities, then nobody can stop me. This is called actual bhajan. People think actual bhajan means I can go to a solitary place, enter and do Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. It's things so. Bonded soul, bonded people cannot do. Popat can do, Bhakti Thakur can do. Those elevated personality, great person, they can do. It makes it makes no difference from them. If you can try, if you express doubt, you can you can try. One pure Vaishnava, they can months after months you can lock them in a room. They can do Harinam and enjoy. And if they are staying in front of thousands of people speaking Harika, all the same. Because the purpose is same. Purpose is same, na? Popat calling thousands of people, giving prasadam, everything, all for the satisfaction of Bhagavan to deliver them. Or Popat used to do crores of Nam Jagya. I also somehow by their mercy did long ago, not now, at present, no time. So it's all the same for them. A bonded soul, the exhibition of Guru Seva is not at all Guru Seva. It's not at all Guru Seva. So all our Guru Bhargava, one by one you can come to me, I can show how that technique of Seva, how Guru Padma used to satisfy Prabhupada, how Parambhujayat Kesav Kusima, I can practically science, like science, mathematics, I can show you. Not that I am false philosophy. Anybody can speak all rubbish, I, I never mind, because they are crazy. How Keshav Goswami used to satisfy Prabhupada, how Paramahasa Siddhartha Goswami Maharaj used to satisfy Prabhupada, how Bhakti Pumatpur Goswami used to, all their technique, different, different technique. Uh, all their Guru Shabha, the mode, all their different mode of Guru Shabha is one kind of exclusive exhibi, uh, expression. All same. Guru Padma, one day speaking, you sleep, you sleep now. I cannot. Hey, sleep. He's speaking to me. Because you know, night and day I was not sleeping. I was thinking how I can sleep. Morning time I have to chant dandik. This day. You sleep. Someday Guru Padma, you cannot believe me. <laughs> Actually, by the order of Guru Padma, if I sleep, that is also bhajan. By the order of Guru Padma, if I sleep, that is also bhajan. 
without the order, without the, uh, you know, without any permission or without any support of Guru Padma Purina, I am doing so many things. I have collected billions of dollars. Guru Padma no satisfied. On those days, some so-called devotees, they used to think, if we can kill, if we can collect so much amount of money, Prabhupada will be very, surely Prabhupada will be very. If I do this thing, then surely Prabhupada will be very satisfied. Panabhaya Keshav Goswami used to say, it is auto-suggestive matter. It is called auto-suggestive matter. Auto-suggestive. You have no information about the heart of Guru Padma. You are doing Guru Seva. What kind of Guru Seva? You have no information about the heart of Guru Padma. You don't know who is Guru Padma. You only see the material body of Guru Padma. The object you cannot see properly. The object you hear about that object, you cannot understand. You don't understand the utility of that object. How you can feel, how you can feel attraction for that thing? You have no idea. What is that thing? What I can do? The object you cannot feel, the object you cannot understand. If somebody is speaking, but still I cannot understand. Surely I cannot feel attraction for that object. Surely I cannot feel that. And then if I cannot understand, if I myself cannot understand, then how it is possible for me to convince you? Foolish. If I myself cannot realize it, I myself cannot understand how I can convince it. Harikatha is not salesmanship. Harikatha is not salesmanship. Harikatha means whatever direct feeling you have by Guru Shabha, you will have to inculcate, you will have to transfer. If Guru Padma, Prabhupada many times used to say, if my Guru Padma is not in line with Sauta Parampara, if my Guru Padma is not in the way of Sauta Parampara, then I cannot get power. Power cannot come. Why, why we are singing Krishna Ita Chaturmu Gvagya? Why? Why? Because through Parampara, that power coming to me. All our Guru Vargos, they are travelling in train, Bhakti Valatitam or I think they are Guru Vargos. Even in train, they used to say, Krishna Ita Chaturmu Gvagya. Why? Because Guru, who Guru Parampara power can come. And if I am not at all in Guru Parampara line, I have some separate branch, then power cannot come. Prabhupada used to say, if my Guru Padma is 100% inclined unto the lotus feet of his Guru Padma, this, this language, if my Guru Padma is 100% inclined unto the lotus feet of his Guru Padma, and my Param Guru Padma is inclined to the lotus feet of his Param, Param Guru Padma, I mean in Sautapanta, then I can get power. Slightest deviation. Slightest, you can say, oh Maharaj, something. No. Prabhupada used to say, slightest deviation from the track of a Guru Padma can make you, throw you away from Maja. Today you can say slightest deviation. Tomorrow that gapping can increase. Like one fine angle. I draw, I draw one very fine equity angle in the blackboard, like mathematics. I am, suppose I am teaching you mathematics. I am drawing one acute angle, very fine, this, very fine. Gapping is, angle mean two straight lines going to meet one point, and that gapping created is called angle. Okay, very small angle, maybe 0 0.001 millimeter. Even it is impossible for me to uh, discover by naked eyes. Very fine level to see. But you don't know if that different, that angle, I mean two straight line, almost uh, submerged with it, almost. And if it is extended, if it is extended, if it is extended, 
ultimately what will happen angle this angle then angle automatically it can even it can grasp the whole world diameter of the world if it is extended up to infinity that gapping ultimately it can grasp that is why propad used to say scientific all the all the all the teachings of sila propad bhakti siddhant saraswati scientific so scientific so scientific you can imagine so scientific harikatha is such harikatha is harikatha when you have no scope to find any fault in it if there is some fault you discover it is not vaikuntha bani oh my guru padma speed son wrong is not said that's when he is not situated in he is surely not situated in shauta pantha Otherwise, defect how possible? Guru Pad Padma speech never need any editing. Hari Katha no need of editing. Guru Pad Padma speaking, then immediately you can publish. Uh, some disturbance can be there. You can cut that now. Hari Katha editing how possible? Hari Katha is Hari Katha. There is no mistake of Siddhanta Vichar from Guru Pad. Padma. We never meet. We never meet with any mistake. From the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma or Pau Pad or Bhakti Mukta Chakur or Kesho Gushen or Sridhar Gushen, they never make any single mistake. The symptom of Guru Pad Padma is that Vaikuntha Bani, Vaikuntha Bani can come from his lotus mouth. It appear like you are, you know, antenna should be there catching sound. and tower tower is not there they are not getting connection they are already connected with aprakriti yoga they are not memorizing any harikatha harikatha appear in their tongue and they go on speaking is is called harikatha if you find so many mistakes so many siddhanta virodh so many mistake in the writings and speech of any spiritual leader world class world wide preacher then be sure he is not coming from a prakriti jagat somehow he has some power doing something but that is not the symptom of satguru it no question of any fighting here here no question of fighting no question of any politics no question of any you know is a question of survival of your real self if you go on playing politics in the meantime you can lose your life why not to why not to try to follow the same particular i mean a perfect track you are playing politics just because some some sadhu speaking why not you understand that is absolute truth you are giving wasting your time if you could give your time to uh, establish in the in the same track of bhakti vino dara then it would have been more practical for you but you are not doing you are wasting mind but you cannot prove it is wrong siddhant is perfect siddhant so sila guru pad padmo was all the way niskinchan whole life so niskinchan that common people they could not understand this personality externally they used to be very poor they could not understand many devotees they used to insult guru pad padma where i cannot say because they can feel sorry and by watching their condition now i feel this is the condition for their for why they are getting this kind of punishment if you are thrown into material conception if you are thrown into material world that is the capital punishment what punishment you expect those who used to insult guru pad pad they are all now crippled all devoid of bhajan like demon uh, demon if you approach them watch their eyes demon oh, a devotee for 60 years then mot used to insult because he was uh, no money no position no disciple no foreign trip nothing he is very humble 
even he used to he used to honor all big god brother he used to give honor all this is the difference between one pure devotee and bonded soul one or two incident if i say then you can go mad bhag parambiya bhakti vidya madhav goshi maharaj is not senior guru patpat is much more senior guru patpat came much before ma parambiya madhav goshi came later but still when he used to say after popat gone so many incident i don't like to speak it is arranged by jogmaya not mahamaya otherwise this kind of massive pitching was not possible anyway Guru Padmanabha used to say we used to stay with Parmya Madhugusi Maharaj, I mean in his more thirty six years continuously. Within that period, Parmya Madhugusi Maharaj used to honor elder god brother, I mean this Bhakti Pumat Purigusha very much, and Guru Padmanabha used to write in magazine. Still today, I can show old magazine. He used to write that Param Pujapat. श्री चैतन्य गौरियामाट आचार्य वर्ज श्री शील भक्ति दैत माधव गोस्वी मारी इज स्पीकिंग दिस वे वेर एज ही सीनियर मच वो सीनियर यूज टू से परम पूज्यवाद वेर एज आई एम सो एनवियस आई डोंट लाइक टू गिव ऑनर टू एनी ऑफ माई गॉड ब्रदर दैट इज अ डिफरेंस इफ यू आर स्टैंडिंग ऑन ए न्यूट्रल प्लेटफॉर्म यू नीड नॉट अप्रोच मी If you are standing in a neutral form, from you yourself can detect. That is the difference. Nobody knew what is the avirbhav tithi of sila bhakti pumat purush. Nobody knew. Who knows? Because he is not going to speak. Oh, Maharaj, your avirbhav. That no avirbhav. Go. No avirbhav. Avirbhav tithi never. It is by the mercy of bhakti doy to madhu kushi mara. Madhav Goswami Maharaj, consecutively for two, three years, he watching one particular date, very clever Madhav Goswami. The Guru Maharaj used to send some sweet garland and cloth, everything to his senior god brother, Bhaktalo Paramahansa Maharaj. Madhav Goswami said, "Why? He is sending. He is searching. He is searching. What? What can be the reason? One day, Guru Pad, uh, one day Madhav Goswami Maharaj." could realize oh one year giving okay. he could realize maharaj why you are sending no no nothing actually you speak why why you are speak? then detect catch arrest and from then onward we get the opportunity to celebrate the avibhakti otherwise there was no scope so humble so humble no He had no desire to make any disciple. No desire to make any disciple. No desire. In Chaitanya Gauriya Mart, so many disciple. You people used to come. Maharaj, you give big. Bak Bak Parampiya Bhakti Vidya Madhu Goswami Maharaj. You take his great personality. You can take from him. One day, uh, one vice principal of one college. Very important personality. He is. searching sadguru after massive searching he he came to know one great devotee is staying there he is a person associated bhagwan is bhakti pur tulsi there he is coming secretly in chaitanya guri mat and entering into his room maharaj after that is paying dhanyavad and it was the nature of guru pad padma suppose anybody entering from entering into room from outside if there is a, there is some sound some sound now opening up door then immediately guru pad don't wait even without watching who is coming inside even without watching who is coming inside first of all you should do but not that even one five years boy in playing mood entering maharaj entering he please immediately that is so old age you could not see properly whenever sound of gate immediately so humble his humbleness was so perfect 
so genuine, endless. People think that humbleness means he has no money position, that's why humble. Not that. Niskinchan Guru Vaishnava, they are torn clothes, no gamcha, nothing, no money, but they are like glowing fire. If you play with them, you can burn up. I myself used to say, they are penniless in all Bano. I don't care. Used to say. People can think me wrong way. What to do? It is the order of Guru Bhargava, that's why I come here and start writing, speaking. Order of Guru Bhargava. That vice principal coming and uh, requesting Guru Maharaj, Maharaj, I am searching for one Sadguru, so I like to take Diksha from you. Actually, I am not fit to get Diksha. Actually, you can get big, big, you know. That time, Madhu Prambhya, Madhu Goswami was not there. That man is requesting repeatedly, Maharaj, I like to take from you. I think you are my Guru. Where from you are coming? I am coming from South Calcutta. One place, his name is Behala. Where Parambhya Santagusti Maharaj's mort is there, in Behala. South Calcutta. Oh, you are coming from Bihala, Bihala Borisha. Oh, oh, you are going to leave Ganga and coming to a pond, a spoiled pond. Eh? There is Santuku Parambhaya, Santuku Simara there. It's great personality. Whereas, whereas Santuku Simara used to say, your Guru Pat Padma and Banagu they they bring me from home. Santu was brought from, in a brought from home by Guru Pātpat. But Guru Mahā saying, is great personality, you are living Ganga. Near your house there is Ganga. Why you are going to avoid Ganga come to a, a spoiled pond? You go there. Really so. Guru Mahā forcefully send him. You go there. He is a nice, very powerful sadhu. He used to hide himself all the time. Up to the last moment, 88, 90 years. Up to the last moment, he used to hide himself. Never used to go. Oh, I am not devotee. I am I'm nothing. I am nothing, he used to say. Even, I told before also, some devotee, some acharya from that side of river, used to pass one bad comment about Sila Guru Maharaj. He is saying, he is Kanishta Bhakta. He is busy with Archan, this, that. Some devotee hearing, having great respect from Guru Maharaj, he is crying and coming in front of Maharaj. I went there to pay Dhanavadan to that Maharaj. And his and next Acharya, man, his disciple, he is speaking uh, Puri, Puri Maharaj. His language is this. Puri Maharaj, Puri Maharaj, not Bhakti Maharaj. Puri Maharaj is, a, is Kanishta devotee. He is crying in front of Guru Mahal. Guru Mahal says, why you are crying? I thought I have no position. I, have, I, have, I thought I have no position, rank. But at least he is going to give me Kanishta Adhika. So why you are? You should not cry. You should be very, you should feel very happy. He is giving me, I thought I have no position. If we are going to express any doubt, about Guru Vaishnava, great danger, great danger, we can lose everything. I can give one example, one or two examples, you can understand. One day, my Guru, my Guru Pat Padma is uh, installing deity and temple of Srila Bhakti Shar Goswami Maharaj, six sand, near opposite Gopinath Guru, one temple there. Bhakti. Shargo Sai Maharaj is a great devotee. I already discussed about his Abhir Bhakti Rova. Guru Maharaj is going to open. Open money, uh, install everything. After that, then prasadam arrangement, going to give prasadam. In that case, Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj. Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj was there in that function. Helping my Guru Maharaj. 
and Guru Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj and Guru Maharaj, Sarma say, you all have done so many seva, now you sit in front of me, I can serve you. Maharaj speaking, out of love. My God brother can take prasadam, I can serve. Maharaj, no, 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 you go Maharaj, you sit, they can. Then where, while, while they are serving, then Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj was stoned. Why? They are given boiled rice. Giving boiled rice. Bharati Maharaj speaking, Maharaj. Bharati Maharaj very secretly speaking to Guru Maharaj, Bhakti Vigyan Maharaj, they are giving us a boiled rice. Can we take this prasadam? I never in my life I took. Guru Padma speaking is great Vaishnav. Even he is giving boiled rice, you will have to take it as a prasadam. Don't take. Guru Mai never took boiled rice. But that day when Sarmar is giving, without any hesitation. Without any, because they have strong belief in Guru Padma. Strong belief. Are what to speak about doubts and suspicion? Strong belief. Even if you cut their throat, half throat can speak about Vaishnava, Vaishnava, Guru. Half throat. If you cut their throat, then half body can go on speaking Vaishnava, Vaishnava, Guru. That kind of strong faith we should have in. Guru Vaishnava, otherwise no question of any development in bhajan. But it's very rare what to do. Up to the last moment of the life of Guru Pātvadnu, we have seen. Niskin, totally niskinchan, totally niskinchan. He want to go to Vrindavan. Guru Mahaj giving me instruction for one month. Guru Maharaj can go to Vrindavan, but one month during, Guru Maharaj calling, come, collect that book from library. I can take, for a long time I can stay there. And that book you have taken? In a package? Yes. No, you take that book also. Packing. His age is over. <laughs> His age is over. <laughs> you know? Age is over 100. I watch it. This book, I need it there. I collecting everything. After that, one day asking, I can go to Vrindavan. How I can go? So you can go by plane, flight, plane. I have no money. You check up my bag, no money. How I can go? It's very costly. That had I was thinking, how much simplicity plane had it. Even one five even one five years boy, you cannot find that kind of simplicity in him. So much plain hearted. Like child, small child. Like one very small child. No, never think. You are making politics with him. He cannot understand. Okay. All is thinking. All. Ah, maybe this problem was there. That's why he have done. Never finding any fault. And ah, those who are non devotee, those not at all devotee. In the guise of devotee. He is finding thousands of fault in Guru Vishnu. Thousands of countless fault. Oh, where from you are getting? Because Vaishnava, the definition is there. What is definition? Definition of Vaishnava, when you are going to write in Chaitanya Chaitanya, you can find. Nirdosh, Nirdosh, Badanu, Suchi, Midu. Nirdosh means flawless. The first point. When Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami giving their all in details about all the qualities. You can find in a Vaishnava, first starting with Nirdosh, flawless. First point. Nirdosh, Badanno, Suchi, Akinchan. 26 qualities you can go through Chaitanya Chaitanya. 26 main qualities. But Vaishnavas, they can have countless qualities. But major, 26 men, vital. All other countless qualities. I mean, Whatever qualities you can see in Krishna, all is supposed to be. Except that Bhagavan is Ishwarna, they have some creation, power, this, that, they are separate. Rasa, Leela, not that. Bhagavan is Bhagavatta. I mean, Bhagavan, Bhagavan exhibiting some Bhagavatta. 
Godship, G capital. That is different. But all other qualities of Krishna can come automatically inside. Automatically. They, they are not trying. They are not trying automatically coming to feel always because symptom of Vaishnav is that that they love Guru Vaishnav. If you have no love for your God brother, if you have no love for Guru Vaishnav pure, then you are not devotee. If you have no love, because one article Guru Padma write, if we like to love Prabhupada, I can show you the article. It's Bengali. If you can learn Bengali, you can read. I can show you. Guru Padma writing about Prabhupada, Vyasa Puja. Guru Padma speaking, if I am failure to worship Prabhupada with total paraphernalia, then my worship of Prabhupada is useless. If I am, if I am failure to honor all the parshad of Prabhupada, those, those who are given their life for Prabhupada, totally they have given life. All their life is totally dedicated. If I am not going to worship Saparshat Prabhupada, worshipping Prabhupada doesn't mean Worshipping Prabhupada doesn't mean I can kick out all my uh, God brothers and all this. That worship Prabhupada cannot take. Even about Krishna. Krishna speaking, somebody is worshipping me and going to insult my devotees. I never accept their worship. I never accept. Though they falsely go there. They, can, they don't know how to honor. First sin. First, first symptom, one Vaishnava, love all other Vaishnava. Come, come, come. Even in Guru Vashtakam you can find. It is a symptom of Guru Patpada. Guru Patpada can arrange nice, nice prasadam for all devotees. But he himself not taking. He himself not taking. All giving to nice, all devotees. He's not taking. That's why it is written, Chatur Vidoshi Bhagavat Prasadu Shadana Tiptam Harivakti Sanyan Kritaiva Tiptim Bhajatadu Saiva Bande Guru Sichara When one sadhu can watch all other sadhu, they are taking prasadam, very happy, very nice, they are enjoying, oh, they are taking prasadam, very nice. But he himself not taking. He is satisfied by your satisfaction. Vaishnava satisfied, oh, very happy. Automatically. It's a symptom. All different symptoms of Guru Vaishnava will learn. You have to feel from heart. It's a symptom. Follow. So, whole life, he was Niskinchan. So Niskinchan, now if I remember, that's very sad, I feel. How it was possible there is no money with Guru Maharaj? Nothing. Because he never used to Never used to pray anybody to give money. Never. He never prayed to Bhagavan. So powerful sadhu, you cannot imagine. So powerful, man, Bhagavad Nijajan, one or two or three examples I can give you, you can understand. How much oneness, how much oneness of Guru Padma with Jagannath, Bhagavan. How much oneness? Too much oneness. If you do something to Jagannath, he can feel inside room. I am not gossiping in front of you. I have no time to gossip in front of you. Some pujari, rascal pujari, he makes a mistake. He is making dress of Gadadhar and Gadadhar slip from the from the throne and he catch Godadhar this way with elbow to the wall so that it cannot slip down into ground. Immediately Guru Maharaj can know. Guru Maharaj speaking to me, you call Pujari to me. Now, why? Well, you call Pujari. After that Pujari coming, you are doing Seva this way. Hey, what matter? You are doing Seva this way. You like to become Gunda. Huh? This is your seva, Gurban. 
Gadadhar Pandi already transferred this message to Guru Pada. But he himself is Gadadhar. He is catching Gadadhar with this elbow and Guru Pada Padma was feeling this. One day in Calcutta Mart, one rascal pujari, foolish, no sincere, he is putting the lamp in such a way that by chance the lamp slide with this and the cloth of Giriraj Maharaj catch fire. Finally, it was discovered the Giriraj burning, and there I was in Mayapur. Guru Padma was speaking. Guru Padma was speaking. My heart burning. My heart, what happens? What, my heart burning. After that, around 7 o'clock, our one godbrother, he ring and speak that you pray to Guru Maharaj that by the, you know, by the mercy of Guru Padma we can save ourselves. Otherwise, we are going to die. But because, because of the negligence, because of the negligence of the Pujari, the cloth of Giriraj Maharaj caught fire and burning, and Guru Padma here, yeah, burning, practically. Not that somebody uh, speaking to me. After that we call. And Guru Maharaj for two days fasting. Crying and fasting. You are serving Giriraj. You are serving Krishna this way. Eh? You are demon. Yasoda Ma taking Gopal in lap and taking butter and thinking, Ma, my son, you take something and that Gopal you are burning. I cannot take, take our prasad. I cannot take anything. For two days fasting. One American devotee, after fall down of three, four Gurudev from one society, finally he was going to suicide. Finally he get the information of Bhakti Pumatruvi coming. And that devotee, I am not going in details. Our Martin Church requests me, Prabhu, you can go to Calcutta and buy some plane ticket. He requests me. One lakh or something I took and buying in cash. That time it was cash, no mobile, nothing. Mobile came just yesterday. I buy ticket because they wanted to fly afternoon time. I just told afternoon time plane ticket, ticket not available. Or I will have to wait. I cannot wait. I have to go reach Mayapur to hand over ticket. So I thought it's more practical to take a morning time flight. Maybe 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. Night time is not a problem. When I come with a ticket, the American devotee, he become very angry. Very angry with me. Very angry. I saw this was a, No! Return the ticket. I saw okay. I am servant. I am servant. I think I am servant. So I take ticket and go there again in Calcutta. I change. What to do? And pay double amount and get the ticket special and I come hand over ticket to them and in the morning time before Aruti they start from Mayapur this temple with car many car, many foreign devotees and that devotee who wanted to chide me for this for, this was not my a negligence I was under what to do I because I know the value of money I am very poor man, so I know the value of my, they have no, hey! Then what happened, when the, when the car, they are approaching towards airport, ha, halfway, halfway they reach, near Kalyani. There, two cars already gone first, and the car, that the man who chided me, that car meet with one accident, big accident. Collide, and the man, driver spot dead, Diver for dead and his brother was there, Govardhan, his name. He immediately attacked brother and approached hospital. And doctor there, they immediately saying, no question of life. Immediately, fraction, you send to Calcutta or take to Delhi, no treatment here. Then finally they take him up to Woodland. The impact of the head was so deep, the only 0 0.001 millimeter impact. If it's more deep, point zero zero, then you are supposed to die. Somehow you was, uh, I mean, marginal protection. And here Guru Maharaj, when the accident, when the accident happened, here Guru Maharaj, 
Today something going to happen. Today something going to happen, I don't know. Then after that, the information came, that devotee, that car, he could not go, to, he could not fly, ticket is all spoiled, and he was there for one month in Woodland Hospital. Lakhs of rupees was spent, lakhs of rupees. Doctor was almost, you know, because the American devotee, very rich. Finally, doctor was successful. In intensive care unit, Guruma used to give me order, my son, you go on my behalf. You take care of the devotee, go. Guruma speaking, you go on behalf of me, you take care of that devotee. I go and he is in coma state, almost cannot speak. Coma state almost over, intensive paper. I go and whisper in his eyes. Guru Maharaj is feeling very happy, very heavy for you, your accident. Guru Maharaj is crying. Then he is also feeling. Guru Maharaj is feeling pain? Yes. Unnecessarily, you change ticket. So, not one example. Not one, not one example. Guru Maharaj one day forget to provide blanket to Madan Mohan. One day. One temple there, that Madan Mohan is a, is, is, Madan Mohan is so direct Madan Mohan. Madan Mohan wanted to climb the, uh, climb, you know, that plum tree to take a rasa. Plum tree rasa, na, there. And suddenly man coming, then Madan Mohan jump and here cut. Here Madan Mohan cut. And that cut, you know, that marking is there in the deity. That deity is there, if you open the cloth, you can see the marking. That Gopinath cart is, you know, <laughs> his thigh. That, 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 and a Madan Mohan Guru Maharaj used to worship for some day. Very many of, very, uh, whenever Guru Maharaj used to go there, the Guru Maharaj used to serve it, because they like Guru Maharaj service. The one day Guru Maharaj forget to give blanket and come out and close and you know, all. The temple coming outside and going to take some milk and something and going to sleep. And immediately after taking re in dream, Gopinath coming, or Madan Mohan coming, hey, you forget to give me blanket. I'm feeling cold. Guru Maharaj feeling bad. Guru Maharaj feeling by chance, I was feeling very cold. Why? I don't know. There's no reason for why I can feel so cold. But finally, in dream, Go, Madan Mohan, you forget to give. Oh. Guru Maharaj catching care and going to take bath, again take bath. He's pure himself, but still going to take bath, night time. Again going to enter into temple, open and excuse me, excuse me, whatever wrong I have done, in blanket, coming outside. Follow. One devotee who took Harinam only, only Harinam, Prabhupada, at the last moment, I mean, 1936, December, last December, last date, Prabhupada left. Or in, after English calendar, you can say 1st January of 1937, as you like. He took uh, maybe before Prabhupada, six months before or he took Harinam. Six months or four months. That devotee, he had a good relationship with my Guru Maharaj. He used to love my Guru Maharaj. Anyway, one day information came. One of one of his daughter suffering from leukemia. Money is, is she is going to die. Daughter, small daughter. I may be 15 years, 16, going to die. A doctor already gave you can we cannot protect long ago. We cannot protect him. We cannot protect him at all. After that, this whole family started crying. A painful information came to my Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj told, you see, it is the desire of Bhagavan. Anyway, we are not going to live for thousands of years or for infinity pure. You will have to go, I will have to go. So, we will have to accept it, the arrangement of Bhagavan. As for karma fall, you will have to go. No, Maharaj, you will have to save. You will have to save everybody coming and catching the Lord. Oh, you have to save, otherwise we can commit suicide. Guru Maharaj said, it is the arrangement of Bhagavan. 
we can go away from world, we can stay for some more days, it depends upon Bhagavan. No, you are allowed to protect. They cannot. They are sitting, crying and crying, fasting. So finally, Guru Maharaj, what to do? Guru Maharaj never wanted to show any appliances. When they are not going to obey, finally Guru Padma told, okay, I should not do it. But still I have to do. Again, giving instruction, this is a star position. This is star position, you will have to collect water from Jamuna. And this is the time, night time, you will have to collect the dust particle from Seva Kunj. I mean the gateway of Sabakan. You can collect some dust particles of Seva Kunj and bring to me. I don't know what Guru Maharaj has done. What he has done, we don't know. After giving, giving some charnamito, you go and uh, help. That daughter is unconscious, going to die after some hours. Going to help that daughter to drink that charnamito. Miracle. Miracle, you cannot believe. Blood, spoiled blood started eh, coming out from left, left, left ear, ear. Like like, you know, you know, fire brigade, you know, fire brigade, water, they're coming out. All bad, bad, bad blood, spoiled blood are coming. Oh, everybody is crying, crying. Oh, now she is going to die. For one or two days, she was in coma state. After that, gradually consciousness came back. Now, she is the mother of three, four babies. Husband earning billions of dollars alive still. So Guru Vaishnava never want to show any appliance. They know they like to hide himself. No, 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 it's not Popat never wanted to show. Popat never wanted. Popat could give life to a dead body. But Popat never. Never used to give. No, this is not our our duty is to love Krishna. Our duty to help you to get Krishna's lotus feet. If you say, I need money, Maharaj, give me, I cannot give you. It's not my duty. My duty is to help you. Guru Padma One day, one devotee coming from Calcutta. I mean, when Bardhaman Raja, the king of Bardhaman, donated one temple to my Guru Maharaj in Kalna. You've been there, that Kalna. Okay, Guru Mahi Niskinchan used to go on Madhukuri Viksha and come and everything, even Viksha, even Arati, even cooking, even offering, top to even in the noontime writing article, all. No second hand. He used to do. After that, my Paramya Madhukuri Maharaj told my God brother, Popat give you Seva, Bani Seva. Why not you come to me and join and stay with me? Very nice. Finally, Guru Maharaj joined and stay there. But Guru Maharaj's heart is, heart is Ananta Vasudev. Inside heart, always thinking, oh, what kind of seva? Because he used to give seva, money, delegation of authority. Guru Maharaj now going to Calcutta, giving some responsibility, some devotee, he, so that he can run the seva. But money you will have to arrange huh? from Calcutta, so much. Anybody giving some pranam, you used to collect and give to one man, service holder. Every Saturday, uh, duty is over, he used to come to Kalna. Sunday staying, even morning time, Monday, he used to go and join office. Not, uh, it is two hours, two hours journey, ten journey. Hello. Guru Maharaj used to transfer anything, any amount, whatever. You need rice or whatever is shortage. I say, you buy, a Prabhu, you can dig. His name is Barin Babu. He used to stay in Calcutta, near Sri Chaitanya Gauriman. Barin Babu. One day Guru Maharaj was there in, for some days Guru Maharaj was there in Kalna. And Barin Babu coming in Calcutta, whatever thing Guru Maharaj need from, need, he used to collect that thing from Calcutta and he used to give to him. Follow. He was there in Kalna doing some seva up, and his uh, Barin Babu, you can bring, eh? 
you are Saturday night, you are coming, okay. You can bring from Calcutta, this, okay. He used to bring. One day Guru Padma is there inside room, Sunday morning. I mean, that year, particular year, doing Haridam with closed eyes, doing Haridam. Nobody knows his condition, what condition he is now. Nobody knows. Barin Babu coming. Bharin Babu was his leg and entered a very small room, Kalna, very small room. Very small, man, just uh, maybe uh, this kind of room, small. Or maybe a little bit bigger. One bedstead can stay only. After the some space, people can. Bharin Babu coming and calling Guru Padma. Maharaj, Maharaj, Guru Padma cannot give any response. Barin Babu cannot understand what happens. He is calling, Maharaj, Maharaj, many times. After that, Guru Padma is not giving any response. After that, Barin Babu is going to touch the body of Guru Padma. Touch body. Immediately, Guru Padma open. After that, Guru Padma is in meditation, already gone, doing Hari now. But he has no idea. Oh, you are Barin Babu? Yes. Uh, you told me to bring? Yes, you bring. Acha Maharaj, I can ask you one question. What question? Whenever I touch your body, some 440 volt come from my body. Yes! Barin Babu, wonder. But Maharaj, one question I have. You are not responding. I was bound to touch your body. Whenever I touch, 440 volts. Why? Why Maharaj? Guru Maharaj smiling, not speaking anything. Ah, Maharaj, you speak, what, what can be the reason? Actually, the power gone to you. Power gone to you. Many times it happened so. One material doctor coming from Navadip, touching the body of Guru Maharaj, like current, like some shaking current. Glowing body. A glowing example of this, you know, up to the last moment, his hand is sacking, sacking. He cannot write. Still writing. Maharaj, you are writing here. Actually, Prabhupada give me this pen. Prabhupada give me this pen and bless me to go and do Bani Seva. That's why I'm doing. Up to the last moment of life, I am bound to carry out the order of Prabhupada. I am not writing because people, thousands of people can read and give me honor and garland. Many officers, Protrust is that they used to come. Maharaj, you are day and night writing. Who is going to read? I am not writing because thousands of people can read. I am not speaking Harikatha because thousands of people can give me garland and billions of dollars they can sing. I have no expectation. Rather, I like to maintain the standard of Harikatha in such a way so that Prabhupada can become satisfied with me. That is only my. In Basasana, I am speaking. In Basasana, I am speaking. I am not speaking lie. My only target is to satisfy Prabhupada. I'm not going to satisfy public. They can come, they can go away. It matters little to me. If they think I'm speaking about Prabhupada, they like Prabhupada, they can hear. If they like to go away, go away. I never care. So I learn it from my Guru Maharaj. I learn it from Guru Maharaj. Eh? Those officials used to say, Guru Maharaj speaking, I am not writing because thousands of people can give me garland and appreciate me. I am writing because this is the order of Prabhupada. You will have to write. That's why. Countless article. Countless article. In your whole life, Mane, you can go on reading, you cannot finish. Countless. I collected some article from old magazine and published a great opportunity. From Delhi, one devotee paid uh, to the pressman, not to me. One lakh thirty thousand paid fagro. Bhakti Pramod Bani Bhav. Like Bhakti Binod Bani Bhav? Like this. Or I collected some. So I was lucky. I never expected one penny from Guru Maharaj. I never expected any honor from Guru Maharaj. Never, nothing, never. Guru Mahi used to say, my son, you have to go and speak Harikatha. Follow. 
Foreign devotee speaking, he is speaking in Bengali. Why should I say? Sometimes Bengali devotee is there, like today. I am bound to speak because I mix. It very looks very. I am not feeling. I am feeling happy. I am not feeling happy. Whenever I am in meditation of Hari Katha, then I feel meditation. No sound, pint of silence. Only meditation, Hari Katha coming out. That is called Hari Katha. But what to do? I am speaking Bengali Hari Katha. Foreign devotees, this is Bengali. We are speaking Bengali. We cannot understand. Guru Maharaj gives them instruction. Bengali or English or Spanish, it matters little. Hari Katha is Hari Katha. You understand, realize, or understand or not understand. Still, you can sit there. Maybe uh, Hari Katha is uh, Bengali, but you have to sit there. Because Hari Katha is Aprakita Sabda Brahma. Can touch your heart. Can make your chain. The same thing Prabhupada told, na? many times I told. Our high gift Brahmachari, all devotees of Mahara. Prabhupada, you are speaking in Bengali. Here nobody understands Bengali. It's South India. Who are you, Bengali? All people here. Prabhupada, very harsh. I am not speaking Bengali. I am not speaking Sanskrit. I am not speaking Hindi. I am not speaking English. I am speaking Harikatha. Then all our Guru Varga shocked up. Oh, is the answer. I am speaking Harikatha. I mean, any language. Harikatha is Harikatha. If you sit there, you can get some. Otherwise, Narutam Thakur is not foolish. Narutam Thakur is not foolish. They are writing, Pashu Paki Jhure Pashan Vidare. You hear? It's Kirtan, never. Pashu Paki Jhure Pashan Vidare Shuni Yar Guno Gatha. Then why? Nathu Bhattagur used to do Kirtan, Manipur, they have no idea about Bengali, nothing. But Nathu Bhattagur is singing in Bengali and with Kartal. And all tribal people, they used to shed tears. And people could see, people could see the Kirtan in practical field. All be beasts and birds, they are shedding tears. Nathu Bhattagur doing Kirtan, and birds ch chipping there now stop and shedding tears. Practically, people could see. We are so happy that we are in the line of Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta. So happy, so happy all the time, my blood boiling. I'm feeling I'm in the line of Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta. So tremendous power. Prabhupada is there. No father can do anything to me. So, it's practical field, we say. Pashupa ki jure pasan vidare. Birds and beads. You know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went going while Hare Krishna Mahaprabhu. Cows are shedding tears, deer shedding tears, birds are stop silent, not, you know, shedding tears. So, we are not coming in bhajan field to play one drama. Be careful. We are not coming in bhajan field to play one drama. Bhajan bhajan drama. <laughs> Very nice drama. Bhajan bhajan. How we can play. In childhood we can see hide and seek. You know, hide and seek. I can hide, you can see. So we are not coming here to play one nice game of bhajan bhajan playing. Practically. Practically we like to. Under the guidance of that great devotee who is humble and people think Humbleness is there, I mean, is a no money, no puji, that's why humble. Not there. Humble people is so powerful that all your power, all over the world, all powerful people can stand one side. And you can set fire to them. People think Niskinjan you know, was very humble because there's no money, no puji. Not that. It's a growing fire. Don't joke with him, don't speak anything. You can die, go to hell. Forever. Why you are passing this kind of rima? Huh? Wonder. To become angry when Guru Vaishnavas are being insulted by somebody. In case Vaishnavas are being insulted by somebody, if you keep silence, you can fall down. Papa speaking, you can fall down immediately. You can never do bhajan. To give answer to them, 
to express angry attitude, to speak heavily, is one different expression of bhakti. Papa speaking, it is all different expression of bhakti. People cannot understand. People think angry. Ah, that's why no bhajan. No. Papa it is a different expression of bhakti. When I'm expressing angry attitude, that angry attitude is a different expression of bhakti. It's bhakti. You have to give answer. So, Srila Bhakti from Purigashima. Nobody never saw, nobody never saw him angry. Never. One day, when from Howrah station coming out, taking one taxi, Madhugusi Maharaj and he, and going taxi, driver speaking, I need some extra. Uh, extra why? What is the meter I can give you? Oh no, I need some extra. Madhugusi is not speaking anything. Oh, let us go. He coming, and coming at 35 Shatish Mukaji Road, Calcutta, South Calcutta, near Kali Ghat. And Madhugusi Maharaj, watching the meter and paying the amount to the driver, immediately enter with the luggage inside. And driver became very angry with Maharaj. And speaking one slag language to Madhugusi Maharaj. Speaking one slag language. And Guru Padma always slow. Slow means always very slowly. Guru Padma was getting out. In the meantime, Madhugusi already got into And after hearing the slag language, from the mouth of that, you know, diver, Guru Pātpāda become Nishingo Dev. All people coming. This Maharaj never become angry. Why become fire like Nishingo Dev? Nishinga Murti. Holy Pāp. People all around come. What happens? We never saw him angry. Yes. This is called Bhakti. Guru Pātpāda is going to catch his fire. Why you speak? So ravish to that pure Vaishnava. This is called Vaishnavism. Vaishnavism is not one false philosophy. If you grow, then you can realize. Day by day, you can realize. So, up to the last moment of Guru Padma, he was busy with Pani Sheva. Maybe you cannot find some oratorship in him. It is, it is your privilege. I don't know. Maybe you cannot find externally he was a uh, oratorship was not there. You can find. He used to write very humble. When I was speaking Harikatha, head is there. My head is up. Guru Padma is there. All is, all I can show you picture. Speaking Harikatha, head is down. Humbleness, so. seeking. So night time, many time it happens so, some books going to be published very shortly. No time. Guru Padma writing and writing, editing, whole night gone. One Brahmachari, 12 o'clock, going to pass urine in the bath. Maharaj, light is on. Maharaj, you are not sleeping. Yes, I can sleep now. Now I am just going to finish. That Brahmachari gone. And another Brahmachari coming. It is around 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock maybe. Light is on. Maharaj, you are not sleeping. Yes, I am going to sleep night. I just, I am going to finish. After that, 3.30, then bell ring. Because... Brahmacharya, they have to get preparation for earth. Then the, when a bell is there, Guru Mahārāja says, Oh, oh, today night is over. I couldn't finish my seva. They are day and night, they cannot understand the difference between, they cannot understand the difference between night and day. This is called seva. This is called seva. When we cannot understand what is night and day, that is called actual seva. You can get lost in seva. When you can get lost in seva, that is called actual seva. All your vein, all your vein, everywhere. Seva, 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 dancing. I like to do seva. That is called Siddha Avastha. Siddha Avastha. We have seen practically. We have seen practically in the life, in the Leela of Bhakti Pumaturi Goswami In the life of, you know, Madhu Goswami, Keshu Goswami Whole day and night. No interest, no self-interest, only seva. This is the... But common people, they cannot understand. They think money position there. Now, after Guru Padma gone, Bhagavan sending so much money that they cannot count how much crore rupees they have. 
Those people, they used to insult Guru Padma because he had no money. Now Bhagavan giving them fitting answer. Bhagavan giving the fitting answer. Now you stop, rascal. You are barking. That's billions of dollars. So, sometime I am thinking, Guru Mahaj giving me one nice seva, also giving some seva to them, so that they can collect billions of dollars. And dollar means you can get honor. So this way, they are not ready to give honor. They are bound to give honor because there are billions of dollars there. Now they are giving honor. But they couldn't understand. Up to 90 years, nobody could understand he's a great devotee. Ah, he has no money, no position, no disciple, no temple. Ah, useless. Now, after that, Balaram, Balaram is going to give fitting answer to those rascals. Fart! Shut up! Giving answer. I am very happy. This way. So, I will have to carry out the order of Guru Pat Padma. I don't care who is going to criticize me. What, what you can say, she can say, he can say. I, I like to carry out the order of Guru Padma up to, up to the last moment of, of my life. Because Guru Padma told, you will have to serve Prabhupada from heart. Let people say whatever they like. You will have to serve. If you serve Prabhupada, Guru Padma practically told me, if you serve Prabhupada, that is my seva. If you serve Bhakti Yudha Madhu Goswami Maharaj, my seva. He told me. Madhu Goswami Maharaj appearance day in Purushottam Dham, Guru Maharaj was there in Nilachal, Bhajan Kutir. Guru Maharaj asking me, hey, you cannot go to attend the function of Harikatha there, Madhu Goswami. Yeah, I can. No, 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 go quickly. The Harikatha there, you will have to hear. Guru Maharaj sending you, immediately go, you have to hear about this great personality. You can bring one life history of Madhu Goswami. I, I heard, it's already published, you see, the mood. Life history of Jivan Leela of Madhu Goswami printed. A Guru Maharaj, his elder god brother, he asking, you, can, you are going there, na? you can buy it for me, I can read. This is called Vaishnav. Vaishnav doesn't mean I can kick on the head of other Vaishnavas. It's not. It's not that. It's not that. He's speaking. I wonder. This way I learned what is Vaishnavism. How to realize who is Vaishnav. He can read the life history of Madhu Goswami. Whereas his elder god This is called Vaishnavism. We will have to preach. We will have to preach this absolute Harikatha. I mean Siddhanta which all over the world. So that nobody can cheat people. We like to stop cheating. This is our motto. Our resolution is to stop other society if they are going to cheat. Up to my last moment I can. Maybe they can kill me. They have gunda, money. That they can do. Again I can take bath, I can do same seva. I don't care. So anyway, today I will have to stop here. No time is going. So many, whole day I was busy there. So anyway, so we'll have to stop here. Joshua Prashadat Bhagavat Prashad. Joshua Prashadat Nagatiku to Yopi. Thanks to Bangsta Show Yasasti Shandham. Bande Guru Si Charanarobindam. Bande Guru Si Charanarobindam. Bande Guru Si Charanarobindam. Vanchakalpudu Sikabas in the Vivish, Patitanan Pavan Bhavishna Pyu Namon.